special St. Patrick's Day edition of Atlas Eats. Today with us, we have recruiter Joe Michelson. Welcome. And of course, head chef, Karen Andreessen. Not a chef, but definitely a chef. There we go. So this month, we thought it'd be fun to do a traditional Irish, not Irish, as I come to find yes. out, Americanized Irish recipe for St. Patrick's Day, corned beef and cabbage. Yep, and we're gonna de make it a little bit easier. We're gonna do it in an Instapot. Um, I don't own an Instapot, so we borrowed this one, and we're gonna see how it goes. My guess is that if you're out there on the road, and I've talked to a lot of nurses over the years, this has become a very popular item because it is so easy to use. Yes, uh, you can do everything in it. I've heard people, you know, meats, soups, stews, I've heard people make cheesecakes in them. Pasta. Pastas, yep. I mean everything. And this particular one has a million different settings on it. So I sat down and did like 15 minutes of pushing buttons to see what happened. And uh, we're all good to go. All right, so Joe, you're gonna you're gonna take care of the uh, the the meat the meat for us here. Yes. You want you want some gloves for this, or you uh, want to just you want to just go? Oh, there we go. There you go. Head chef. That's Santa. why you're the head chef. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Prepared. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're take, gonna the, take the, the lid off lid that off thing. Get the lid off the Instapot. Just pop it all off. Yep. And we have the inner pot. And the first thing we're gonna have Joe do. Um, as soon as he figures out how to put gloves on. Yeah, well. He clearly <laughs> doesn't work in an ER or <laughs> any type of uh, the medical. The one-size-fits-all glove apparently mm. does not fit all. There you go. Fits, all right, I think you're barely. good. All right. all right, so the first and thing I'm that's going to go... I'm wearing my traditional green. Yes. Of course, for this, I wore my uh, one green shirt I own. I am the least Irish person um, as German and Dutch, so... Are you a little Irish, Joe? Do you have any Irish? A little bit. Yeah, okay, about well, 30 35%. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Right, yeah. I don't know. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in four cups of beef broth. All right. Um, some of these recipes you can just use four cups of water, but four this cups. particular one is uh, beef broth. So we like the little extra flavoring. This is exactly four cups it's in true. here. So you're just going to dump it all in. That's convenient. Exactly four cups. Yeah, that's why I bought it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put in the pickling packet, which is next to the meat there. Yeah, there you go. And you can make your own pickling spice. We're just going to use the pickling spice that comes directly out of. Just throw it in. Um, yeah, just, yep, just dump that dump in. Dump it in. Wow. Spread just it out. Carefully spread out when it's going to a pressure cooker. Yep. All right. Great. All right. Then we have one onion um, that has been quartered and eight cloves of garlic. Eight. Um, we do like garlic around here, so <laughs> wow. we we kept up. You don't have to put that much garlic in, but you can just actually just dump it. You don't have to. I don't to. want to splash it. If you're by yourself. Oh, yeah. Look at this. And you don't nice. care about how your breath smells, Perfect. and I think you're good with eight cloves. <laughs> if uh, you got a date later, yeah. well, maybe maybe cut that back yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. All right, then we're going to put a rack into our instant pot, mm -hmm. and then we're going to take our about three and a half pound corned beef um, that has been rinsed thoroughly. You want to get all of the gel and the extra salt off. Ooh, gel. Gel, and it's just gonna go pop right in there. Whoa. Well yeah, done, Joe. It's a good thing you're wearing gloves. Well I mean, done. That. Good yep, job. that's why you're wearing gloves. And that's, that's pretty much it, then you put the lid on. And, and then we're gonna lock it up. It's going to get plugged in. We're gonna put it on high pressure for 90 <laughs> minutes, or in this case, meat and stew for 90 minutes. So 90 once minutes? The, 90 minutes. I would have thought Insta. the Insta pot would be a little more Insta than that. Well, it is corned beef. It's usually it takes like four to six hours, I think, to right. roast a, a corned okay. beef and get it nice and tender. So it's a slightly faster than a it's crock pot. It's quite a bit faster than <laughs> a crock pot, I would I say. I was thinking yes. it'd be like, bam, and all of a sudden, Ta-da, we're done. And That's it'd be what we're done. Do later. Like, that would be it. So. Let's just put the lid on and then. We'll pause. We'll come back in an hour and a half. Because we're going to plug it in. Instant. Bam. Yeah. All right. All right, so an hour and a half, and uh, and we'll be back. All right, so give me an update. Where are we at? All right, so it's been a little bit more than 90 minutes. Um, so it took 90 minutes to pressure cook. Um, then it was about 10 minutes to natu <clears throat> naturally release the steam. Okay. Um, and so we are going to now pull it out of... So this Ooh. is the part where people usually blow up, right? I mean, they, they just they just <laughs> open people it. People blow up doing this? Why am I doing I, this? Well, yeah, <laughs> well, you're the head chef. Oh, awesome. All right, so we are going to pull the corned beef out of the juice. 
Oh. It looks amazing. It's, oh, it's We're going to put it so right good. here. And then we are actually going to wrap it. Is that my portion? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. it, kind of, it kind of shrunk just a little bit. Now we're just going to wrap it in some foil. We're going to just let it sit and rest in the foil. Keep it nice and warm. Let the juices reabsorb. We're going to pull the rack out here. Got some of those onions mm, stuck to it. Wow. Delicious onions. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We'll pull this out. That's not hot at all. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So now we're going to start adding in our vegetables. So go ahead, Rich. You can just. Oh, I'm going to do this. Yeah, awesome. Just okay. Go ahead and put the. What goes first? Let's just go pot potatoes. Potatoes first. Okay. You and say then we'll this. throw some. Okay. We'll throw the carrots on top of it. Now this recipe calls for three carrots cut into two-inch chunks. So I got super lazy and went with baby carrots. <laughs> totally um, fine. I think the presentation looks nice. Yep. And then we're just going to lay the four wedges of cabbage. cabbage on top. Just lay them on top like that? Perfect. OK. And he washed his hands. I can vouch for that. Absolutely. He saw me do it. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> it's a pressure cooker. It it's kills pressure everything. Cooker. Yeah, anyway. kill it's fine. We're going to get that it's lid totally back fine. on, the hand and we're going to close it up. All right. These vegetables only need to cook for about three minutes. Once this beeps, we're actually going to do a fast release on the pressure with the steam. Um, we're going to stand far away from the steam and release the valve mm -hmm. and then pull the, the lid off. And this is going to be ready to go. All right, we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, and we're back. You stole my line. <laughs> go ahead. OK, so we're back. Uh, so. It's been, what, three minutes plus another five-ish, five to seven. Five for to it. seven for So it came to pressure, and yep. then it was three minutes on that. And now we're going to do a quick release on the steam. Whatever you do, do not put your face over where the steam valve is. It, like that. That's a, that's a do not do. We're just going to release. See it Ooh. sputters? I'm scared. And it takes a little bit to get all that steam out, so. It's a lot of steam. Hmm. The steam smells delicious, though. It does. I know. I'm mm. very excited about it. I think while the steam's releasing, we're going to unwrap our corned beef that's been wrapped in the foil for the last 10 minutes or so. Still nice and warm. A lot of juice in there. Oh, it looks amazing. Mm. Oh, man. Plastic forks, probably <laughs> not your best utensil to use. Mm. Just gonna slide it We're not out. very fancy here in the Atlas Test Kitchen. Our test kitchen is, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to start cutting that thing then? Is that the? Uh... You just want to eat. I do <laughs> want to eat. You're absolutely right. You absolutely can. So we're gonna just start. You always want to cut it against the grain. Oh, this thing is so tender. Oh. I cannot believe it's almost cutting itself. Although let's see if it would. <laughs> it would it's no. Not. No, no, no. Not gonna do it. Okay. Close enough though. Here you go. Oh yeah. Grab a fork. Yeah. No, or kidding. just use your fingers. I'm just use my fingers. Oh man. Mm. It just falls apart. It is. It's melting in my mouth. Mm hmm Oh. Wow. I cannot wait to eat. And if you notice, steam is still releasing. Still coming out of here. Hmm. Come on. Come on. I guess I'll just start mm. eating my fingers. All right, I think we're probably good. Everybody from very much to stand by. We'll see how this goes. Maybe. Or not. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't want to uh, maybe release. It won't release. Maybe if you have, you, maybe you have to turn it off yeah. first. Clearly, we're uh, Instapot rookies we're, here. We're amateurs. Even the head yeah. chef is somehow an amateur. Oh, how's that? Okay, yeah. Never, <laughs> never <laughs> used an Instapot before. There it goes. So we're gonna pull these out here. Wow. Our quarters of cabbage. Man, if this is an Irish, then I, I don't know. This is this looks amazing. And the office, the entire office smells like cabbage now, which I'm yeah. sure people are super happy about. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Oh yeah, potatoes, mm. the carrots. It's like seven minutes. Like you have you have like all day long, yeah. slow cooker. Like look. Yeah. And texture in a couple minutes. Now, is that my bowl? <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know what you guys are going to eat. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, and that is hot. We'll, we'll dig the rest of that out later. Right. Screw yeah. yourself up. So you, you want to try, try a plastic knife? <laughs> on the cabbage <laughs> on, on here? On the cabbage. 
in here. There's some potatoes and carrots on it. Then you still have all those onions and that garlic that was in the bottom of that juice. Yep, there you go. Throw on a nice piece of corned beef. There you go. Wow. Corned beef and cabbage. All right. Wow. Try thank it out, you. Joe. All right, there you go. You gotta give it a shot. Tell us how it is. All right. Well, I'll it start might with be the really, really hot. It, yeah, it probably. It is hot. I can feel the steam coming off. We did not let all the steam out, apparently. No. Well, you can still feel the heat coming off of it. Yeah. Really hot. <laughs> how is it? One more time. Very hot. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, but it is. It's delicious. Excellent. Let's dig in. All right. Let's see some. So the nice thing too is this is kind of a yearly tradition, right? You don't do it often. Yeah. Um. The corned beef is your biggest expense here. So this was like a three and a half pound corned beef. It was like 1350. But all of the other uh, vegetables, the cabbage, the carrots, the potatoes, the onion, the garlic, the beef broth, the whole thing costs like $21. It's gonna serve, you know, four to six pretty the easily. Office. Yep. Um, you know, if you're serving four, you're gonna have leftovers for sandwiches, mm -hmm. which is, Pretty awesome. Wow. Which I guess fork. <clears throat> and pretty easy. And not a lot of mess. No, it not really a lot of there's not mess. much cleanup. Not much at all. Not at all. So I guess in a very small confined space, then yeah. you're gonna want that. You're so. gonna, you're, it'll be pretty good. So all right. all right, so from all of us here at Atlas, have, have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Give the corned beef a shot. I know. Yeah. I know you'll enjoy it. If it turns out anything like this, you'll love it. We'll see you next month. Have a great weekend. Enjoy.